Hey, what up, America? Happy Wednesday to you. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, 2017. Now, I just wanted to be real quick uh, with you today. Um, L.A. is is really the L.A. Democrats uh, in the South Central area, in the Los Angeles area, and more importantly, in Maxine Waters District. Um, very upset uh, with Maxine Waters because she's putting her personal vendetta against the sitting president in front of the, the community. Now, we know that um, Donald Trump and the Trump administration is, is being put into office and they, um, they're in control. You know, Donald Trump is signing executive orders like he's signing scholarships <laughs> to the Trump University, which, you know, they say what it, which was one of his greatest failures. But he's just signing them and showing them and smiling. And, you know, but Maxine Waters, a uh, congresswoman from Los Angeles, is actually turning her back on the city of Los Angeles and her supporters because of her personal issues with the city president. Now, I know what I shout about. We, we don't have to agree with the president of the United States, but we cannot go on a witch hunt and go four years of doing things that we know is not going to work. We need things to change. We need things to uh, uh, be reviewed and, and, and the community you know, needs to uh, make whatever adjustments required to get back on track. Now, the Democrats are, are, are really mad about the selections that Donald Trump is putting in in terms of his cabinets, but you can turn to your local news and pick those things up. But one of the things that sticks out was the Secretary of Education. Now, the Secretary of Education, the Democrats are using the same slogans that they use with Donald Trump, saying uh, he's not qualified and she's not qualified. But... Everything that he's putting online, since the Democrats own the owns Congress and the Senate, more likely is going to get pushed through. But back to Maxine Waters. Now, as an L.A. based uh, community activist organizer um, from a from a love uh, a, a, a lower level uh, municipal level, um, we need Maxine in the city. Uh, we need Maxine in the community uh, working with us. So we can actually put these things into play to change the game for our community. We could care less at this point in time. Trump won the election. OK, that's fine. But we have to move on. We have to move on because we cannot go another four years of, of, of Tea Party uh, leftists. Uh, the Democrats, I mean, the way that they're going about their business is, is crazy, is comical. But Maxine Waters, we need you in the city. Um, because once the if they were to put term limits and, and things like that into play, which, you know, everything's on the table uh, when it comes to uh, American politics, because we don't have a conventional politician in place. Um, a lot of the sitting Democrats and a lot of sitting Republicans, but more importantly, it will hurt the Democrats because they don't have the numbers right now that as soon as they put them into play, they will be obsolete, meaning that you've already superseded. The, the term limits. So your last term will be when they put that law into effect and we don't want that to happen. So you guys got to get into those communities and get back to your local branches and work with local politicians and local activists and, and, and local educators to somehow take care of the city because we know what's best for us. We don't want Washington making the decisions and Washington will make the decisions if everybody's in Washington hating on the city president. Like I said, I will never commit treason. I love this country. You know, my people have been here on record since 1619. And I have to throw a plug in there. I'm one of the part, you know, playing a part in the, the organization that's going to be commemorating 400 years here in uh, 2019 in Jamestown, Virginia. And uh, it's going to be a big deal. So we got a lot of work to do. So. Um, and, and, and I don't want to go hard in the paint on Maxine because we love her, you know, but she's committing career suicide on the back end of her career. She's destroying her legacy because she she sounds like like, like the right, right, far right wing conspiracy theorist when it was on a witch hunt with President uh, Barack Obama about his birth certificate. Who cares? It's just it's a smoke screen. For eight years, they talking about a piece of president. He's not a citizen. They even made Trump says Yo, he's an American, which it doesn't it didn't even matter. But it was just a waste of time. So we don't want to 
take a page out of their handbook and do something that was stupid in our eyes then and then act like it makes sense today. It's still stupid. So we got to get back to work. You know, so you guys, I mean, Trump's in his first hundred days. You don't have the numbers. You can't stop anything. So what, what we're saying is we need to start organizing to the point to where making sure our cities is, 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 is okay. Making sure our cities are okay. Making sure our cities are getting the necessary funding and things that they need. But when you go on record, and I'm telling you, when you go on record against this guy, he holds grudges. He holds grudges. That's why Steve Harvey had to meet with him. Steve Harvey wasn't invited to meet with the Trump, with, with the president. Steve Harvey was summoned to meet the president. And some people are saying Steve Harvey got slapped by the president. Because when he came out, he was so humble. You know, I mean, I got big lips. You know, I'm a black man. But Steve Harvey came out like, I'm like, come on, bruh. <laughs> what happened in there? You know, so he was summoned because Steve Harvey was saying he'd never be my president. He was, he was, I mean, come on, man. Steve Harvey rocked with Ellen. He, he rocked with the, with the left wing Hollywood. So he was real adamant because he was sure without shadow of doubt, just like everybody else thought, that he would not become president of the United States. But now that he did, Trump being a gangster that he is, say, hey, go pick, yeah, send for Steve Harvey, kind of like, like a mafia boss sitting, you know, for Tony the Bull or, or, or the Gambinos, go get him. I need to see him. They got to kiss the ring. Because Steve Harvey came out, he was very humble. Because he said some things that was so hard in the paint that, you know, in a third world country, he would have been beheaded for the comments that he made. So he had to go back and Trump needed to look that man in his eyes and put him in check and put him back in pocket because Steve Harvey is a large figure and it comes to the urban community because of his base, his radio base, and then a large community with the TV audience, Family Feud, the whole nine. Steve Harvey's huge in the game. So they figured it out. But when you look at the women, Maxine and, 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 and all the other, uh, the Black Caucus and all of that, they, they, they're so not focused on doing their job. So they let the puppet master dictate and... The truth is finally coming out. Do they care about the people? Do they care about themselves? And Maxine Waters put on record, said, this is personal. She said, it's personal. She said on CNN, you can check it out. Just Google it. Anything that I tell you, anything that I tell you, don't take it as a grain of salt. Do the research. Find out for yourself to validate and to fact check what I'm saying. You know, because, you know, when you want to be right, you know, you can admit some wrongs, but I'm pretty accurate on this situation. But Maxine Waters went on record and made this thing personal. She made it personal. She said, this, this is, this is, this is for Maxine. Now, she didn't say this is for, you know, Congresswoman uh, Waters. No, she said, oh, this is for Maxine, you know, <laughs> with the woman thing. So she made it personal. So you cannot put your personal issues and your personal vendettas in front of the community. Because all that talking that you're doing, and if it comes back to bite you, it's going to hurt the community. You know, so the community is kind of like we 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 about to turn our backs on the Democratic Party. You know, Maxine Waters and the rest of them, the Black Caucus, the whole nine, the Congressional Black Caucus, because the Black Caucus is standing up, and we're going to basically make sure that the Congressional Black Caucus does this thing because they there has to be a buffer in between. That's why there's some selected individuals in place to actually make sure and ensure that these things happen. But the Democratic Party is in shambles. And Maxine, you know, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot put your personal issues and concerns in front of the people that then continue to put you in office over the last 30 years. And when they talk about the, the Secretary of Education not knowing what she's doing and, and she's not uh, uh, qualified for the position, the last time I checked in the, in the, in the inner city, in the inner city, uh, the city schools are probably the worst that they've ever been in the history of public school system. So at the end of the day, at the end of at the end of the day, the public school system is a failure, is a failure, and it needs to be reformed. Hey, right, just keeping it one hundred. <laughs>